Hello YouTube. Hey, just a quick update here. I'm starting a new project, but more importantly, a new skill set, something I haven't essentially ever done before, and that is leather work. Um, so I'm really working on, other than taking some scrap pieces of leather and sewing them together and stuff like that, I am working on my first project, which is going to be this bag right here. Sorry, I know it's not the most professional. Uh, this is a bag produced by somebody who has a pretty significant YouTube presence known as Diesel Punk RO. And uh, this is called their red bag. And the minute I saw it, I thought it was a stunning and good looking bag and I wanted to make my own. And though this is kind of identified as an intermediate level project, I thought I would uh, uh, go ahead and uh, make this my first leather working project. So um, as you guys know, with a camper and, and perhaps some other furniture things I've showed on here, I've been woodworking for years. And uh, out of all of the time I've been woodworking and all of the projects I've made, I might have looked at something for inspiration, but I've never actually used plans. Um, for my first leather working project, my intent was kind of to do the same thing, essentially learn some of the skill sets, do some practicing, and just build something of my own. But I was so intrigued, and I thought that bag looked so nice, that um, Diesel Punk RO had some, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry, what do they call it? Um, some patterns, thank you, that uh, you could get for that bag. And essentially you print them out, you make sure you calibrate the size, you cut the leather to all the various pieces. So as you guys can see over there, and here's you know a bunch of different straps and different pieces that make that up. And then you go through in the pattern. So these patterns are not great looking, but you can kind of see what they, what they would look like. You cut them out. And uh, they have these little holes in them. Obviously, I've, I've since punched the holes. And the pieces that you cut out, you, you punch the holes for the stitching. This is obviously all hand-stitched. And, uh, and then you put it together. Um, uh, from my experience, I've not necessarily read this anywhere, but just kind of working on this thus far, it's kind of a four-part process. Uh, cutting out the leather, finishing the edges, which is... Uh, um, usually involves putting a, um, if you want to, of course, a stain and a chemical and a friction process to kind of smooth them out. Um, and then going through and punching the holes for hand stitching. That's, of course, if you're hand stitching, which is what my plan is here. Um, and for that, I use a, oops, sorry, there you go, a, um, this is a, I don't know if this one is, I just picked one up randomly, but I'm using a 1.5 millimeter punch, hand punching all of these holes. Uh, many of you who've done some leather working before may be familiar with these kinds of chisels. And I did do some practice stuff uh, with those chisels, but uh, um, I actually like hand punching the single holes from the practice sewing uh, I have done. So anyways, um, I just want to kind of introduce you guys. I know most of you are following my channel because of the camper stuff. But, uh, you know, I do want to kind of share some of my other projects. And, and I think some of these skill sets um, could have a role for those making their own camper and just kind of the general spirit of those activities. So follow along. We'll uh, Obviously, this leather I got is not the exact kind of leather that uh, they use for their bag. But... Uh, um, this was kind of something I really just went to an online leather store. I found it on sale and I went ahead and got it. I thought it looks nice. Uh, doesn't quite have the character that some leather has, but I think it's still pretty nice. And, uh, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I'll just kind of probably the next video I'll do is once I'm done. Um, uh, and we'll go from there. So if you guys are interested, follow along, leave some comments and uh, check back. Um, I'm enjoying this process, but I'm, I'm probably thinking I probably won't finish for another week or two uh, if, if I get a lot of work. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks.